Welcome back to this war of mine, day two. I think I've discovered that Fraps, for some reason, or at least my Fraps, does not like the transitions in this game, so I'm gonna have to stop recording in transitions and break it up that way. All right, Pavle has come back. Here's the items that he brought back. Once you come home, these automatically go into your group storage. Here's the food. I noticed in editing the last video, I left one little piece of food that I could have brought with me. Uh, hopefully that doesn't bite us in the end. He's hungry and tired, so what we're going to do first is we're going to have this person here. Hopefully we've got enough equipment to do this. Build us a crude stove. We're going to put it up here in the kitchen area. Go, go. Come on, quick, quick. And um, we're going to send some of these people just temporarily to bed for now. She's still in bed. I guess she's still sick. Yeah, she's sick. It's all right. All right, once this is done, we're going to cook up some food and feed hopefully all of our people. Maybe not. We'll see what happens. Okay. Oh, no, nope, clicked on the wrong person. All right, cook. Hmm. We need fuel. It's fine. We can make fuel right here. Let's make it out of these parts. Let's make ourselves four. It shouldn't take her too long to do that. He's resting here. Um, why don't you go down here while we're resting? It's time's wasting. Um, as you can see, like I said before, when I had to back, go back through everything, well, let's exit this, I did manage to get in these areas and unlock this. Uh, there was just some more food and stuff in there. Well, I haven't gotten here. Let's go in here. Let's see what's in there, pal. All right. Um, whoops. And again, click on the wrong person. Doing it every time. All right, now we can cook some food. It looks like we can... How much can we get out of this? Just one? Can we get more out of this one? Uh, let's make this, see what happens. It's gonna give us two. At least two people can eat. Um, I think that's gonna be our runner at least. He needs to eat. As soon as he gets this open. And search. We find some more medicine, some more food. I will take it. Go eat, my friend. Oh, is that her eating? Oh, man. I don't want her to eat. Well, fine. She cooked it. She should be able to eat some of it, right? You need to run up there and eat. And really, we really need more beds. I know she's sick, but she was in bed all night. She really needs to get up so other people can sleep. sleep. Can you make another bed? So we only need to get everybody into a bed. We're going to place this bed. Um, yeah, upstairs here. Get to it. Alright. Mm, can you cook something? What do you need? Water. Oh, yeah. Mm. Come down here real quick. This is going to be an issue. Yeah, we can't make the uh, brain collector. We need 15 of these parts. I think we used them on the bed, or we used a good bit of them. Uh, you need the brain collector, you need these also, which take three parts. So water is going to be a priority for us our next time around. Um, we do have some options here, though. Um, he can just eat. It's not as efficient as if it's cooked, but it does help a little bit. You go to bed. Get this bed up. Next time we'll be able to have everybody sleep properly. Alright. Just go back to bed, I guess. Alright. And then, still hungry. Now we can eat another one. And I think that'll get him get him done 
Yeah, he's done. He's good now. All right, here's some. Uh, let's go see what we can build. Come over here. Oh, nothing. We are. We really need some of these loose boxes of parts. That's a priority. Now, sometimes people will show up. Traders will show up at the door and knock on the door. There'll be a little message saying someone's at the door. Uh, other people who need help, other survivors coming in. Be nice if we could find one of those guys because here in our inventory, this is one of the things we found in one of the uh, closets that we hadn't unlocked. It's really useless to us, it's just a piece of jewelry. We can trade that away. Um, books are useful because people can sit and read them and it helps uplift their spirits, keeps their morale up. But they need a chair to do that in, so that's that's an issue we didn't usually start out i guess we got swapped our chair for a survivor hmm yeah everything hinges on these i wish we had more space i wish we had more of those things but it is what it is we got to make these choices we've got some food but we need other things so we need to bring back 15 18 of these okay we got to remember that for our scavenge tonight 18 of these um, as we believe it looks like we have everything else we need we'll get a rain collector and that will help us collect rainwater it's not a whole lot the more you have the better but it's better than nothing at all these areas here we can eventually upgrade the workbench and be able to repair these holes in our shelter and make it more secure from people trying to break in I wish we could make a knife too that would be that would be awesome all right, it's getting really late at night, 7 o'clock. We don't have anything really going on. Okay, everybody's awake. That's good. She's still sick. We're going to leave her there. But everybody's awake, so we can go ahead and end our day manually if we want to. So let's do that. All right, we're on this screen. I'm going to pause the recording in between this screen and the next screen and patch that together just so I don't have another crash. That seems to be where I have the crash when Fraps is trying to record in between the uh, screen transitions. All right, as you can see, we have some new areas. St. Mary's Church, um, still people there. Looks like there's a pastor there. Um, there's a vestry that's abandoned behind it that we could get some stuff. It's just cautious, and you know, we may be stealing from people and they might fight back. Here's a garage, um, could have your car repaired here run by a son and his elderly father if they still live there um, they might trade with us we might find useful parts there and food so we could possibly steal from these people or these people right now we're still gonna go here because there's still a huge amount of stuff left that we haven't got and we don't have to steal from anybody we don't have to make anybody you know upset in our colony I wish we had the 15 um, 15 space guy, but we got this guy. We're gonna prepare him. Oh, let's bring the shovel this time. Yeah, I did make a shovel. A little make a shovel when I had to redo that first part because of the crash. Uh, so we have one now. We'll use it this time. It, it covers a space, but it's gonna allow us to dig out that area in the back. All right, I'm gonna pause the recording, hit the scavenge button, and we'll be right back. Welcome back. Here we are. This is a new area. You can see the building here. Oh, wait a minute. We may have... Oh, this isn't the first place we scavenged. This is a different place. I may have clicked on something else. Oh, interesting. All right. Well, let's go in here. I think we can climb up here. Yep. Up we go. Be careful. Could be other people in here other scavengers that could be friendly or not oh man the door is locked okay hopefully this isn't a bust okay we can hide in here there's something here this could be people so we need to be very careful it is but he's scavenging he's scavenging across the courtyard a very small type Oh, here we go. Let me zoom in. What does he want from us? I don't know. 
Bonzo will shoot him on sight. Ah. Okay. I hope they're not talking about me. Let's be careful. He's going out that way. I want to watch where these guys are going. Okay, here's some stuff we can take. This is basically rotten stuff. You can use this as fertilizer. We're going to take everything for now. We may put some stuff down if we don't need it. Oh, look. Show yourself. He's there. They're on guard for us for some reason. Okay, they're going upstairs. This door looks shut. Maybe we can... We can't climb up here. This may be a bust here. No, we're not going to go out here. We'll get shot. Well, there's another building here we could go looking at. Still looks like we could get shot. This is not cool at all. Wait, wait, oh, wait, down. We can go down. Here we go. This might be the way. Zoom in a little bit. Very quiet. Quiet as we can be. What's this under here? Some kind of... Okay. Not a lot. Got a septic tank. Be careful. Don't want to fall. A saw blade to get through here. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Very interesting. Well, this looks like it's going to be a bust in our scavenging for night, too. This might really harm the colony or the our group. Don't. Someone's moving. That person's still there. So, I think it's time for us to go. Um, another thing you want to do is keep an eye on the time. If you don't get back by a certain time, if dawn catches up to you, this guy's going to, one, come home later in the day. Two, I believe there's a chance they don't come home at all because they're caught out in the day. Let's see what they look like in here. Let's peer through. What are they doing in there? Okay, well, let's get out of here. We don't want to be killed or anything. Alright, we will come back with uh, episode 3, day 3, um, soon. And we will see how our intrepid uh, survivors uh, deal with uh, Pavle's very, very small um, hull. No water, no parts that we needed. We're, we're in trouble. There's not a lot we can do. Maybe someone will stop by and trade parts with us. Maybe not. But we'll have to wait till next time to see what happens. So uh, leave us a like. Please comment. Help us improve. And subscribe. Talk to you later.